everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, shot a video for the workshop. Um, been doing a lot of stuff. Um, you'll notice we're not dealing with a small carpeted table right now for workshop. I've managed to reclaim most of my shop. Um, been working on a lot of stuff around here. Um, been doing been doing a lot of stuff I guess without uh, shooting for YouTube. Um, what I'm gonna do today is give you guys a little look at the new workshop space here and uh, I'm gonna show you each one of the RCs and talk about them and what damn or what uh, parts have failed on them what mods have been done to them and why um, gonna be hopefully uh, kind of looking for a uh, ECX barrage uh, again um, want to do a budget build RC uh, crawler that's gonna be capable of uh, trailing and uh, crawling and being able to keep up with these bad boys not on the top speed aspects but is in a trailing aspect low speed crawling just all around ability to go over obstacles um, I've done that once uh, then I was offered a trade for my barrage that I felt I couldn't pass up I traded it for a very fast FPV race drone and I am not a pilot um, I pretty much destroyed that drone uh, it's gone to one of my friends who's parting it out and going to build a plane out of it <laughs> what's left of it um, so I'm gonna get you off of that tripod and over here above the workbench and we're gonna start in on looking at these vehicles So, what we have here is, this is my TRX-4 chassis kit, my uh, TRX-4 Defender, Proline Viter, or, uh, excuse me, Proline, shoot me now, um, my uh, uh, Viterra Ascender K5, um, gonna move this aside. Okay, now this has been running a 1900 KV Mamba X system. Having a little issue with the Mamba X right now. It's not recognizing the auxiliary wire. Let's lift the shell off of this, make sure the body's unplugged. Okay, so that's my headlight and tail light, uh, turn signal light, or park light lighting kit in there. Okay running a Savox 1230 SG servo and I actually have flipped the servo case run the wire down low and I've sealed the case uh, to make it so it's more waterproof unfortunately it's running the stock uh, XL5 HV and 21 turn motor right now um, until I figure out what's wrong with the Mamba X I'm running the Chinese uh, beat, uh, steel bead locks, uh, they're China Terra knockoffs of the RC four wheel drive uh, five lug. They do have a hex uh, instead of a pin drive, uh, so you don't have to buy an adapter, especially. Um, running a uh, Spectrum radio system in it. It's running the SR6000 uh, receiver with the uh, Spectrum DX 5C radio, so it gives me independent front and rear uh, differential control, as well as endpoint settings on all of my servos. So, this one here. Uh, 
only has a little bit of brass. Has uh, homemade brass uh, shock collars, uh, lower mount collars for the springs uh, because I've lost the plastic ones and I have the ability to make them. These are the those beadlock wheels. I painted them white. They were originally black. Used a paint marker uh, with the crawler laying upside down. Used paint marker and painted the uh, red and blue stripes on it so look a little bit more like a, a set of uh, Mojocs. Now the the STRC brass uh, knuckles they are 71 grams I believe um, they actually they fit perfectly it's just really easy to change them out just a matter of minutes just took the kingpin screws loose steering linkage loose dump the whole portal and axle assembly out on uh, each side six screws on the back two on the front as you've probably seen in everybody else's YouTube videos <clears throat> and then one for the keeper for the hex keep that on um, <clears throat> really easy upgrade really helped a lot um, my wheels are a little extreme I'm running uh, a single strip of lead weight around each uh, bead rock bead lock ring I know rotational mass is hard on drivetrain parts and believe me I've been paying for it uh, a little bit at a time here as I explode portal gears every time uh, I get bound up on 4S when I had the 1900 KV set up in here uh, but I've been getting away with it and it's been surviving because in high range where the wheels get a lot of uh, speed I can disable the drag brake when I grab high range now the uh, the portal gears you know they haven't failed under normal use it's, it's been pretty much abuse you know so super impressed with how well those have been doing uh, it's completely stock drivetrain otherwise um, the bumper mounts I'm running my rear bumper mount flipped run mounted my rear bumper from the kit and it's correct orientation but with a rear bumper mount flipped upside down now my front bumper is also running a rear mount flipped upside down so it has really improved the approach and departure angles um, it's worked out really well um, haven't had to cut the body very extremely to get it to set properly with the bumpers and with the inner fenders you see there's actually a quite a bit of clearance there with the inner fenders and this body so everybody's been wondering what you can run on a kit or a Bronco for a body the Matera K5 works great for that now for the other TRX4 You'll notice receiver hitch, trailer plug. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, there's my interior. Um, the uh, the Proline Power Wagon body has been taking a real beating, and it's held up really well. I've hooked both fenders and cracked the fenders right there, and it's tumbled enough. I've broken the corner by the grill broken the back of the bed a little bit but all in all it's per turned out to be a really tough really good looking shell have torn this headlight off though that pulled through got a washer on the back and it's it's holding for now but I'm gonna have to figure out something else about my headlight um, so this one here is running a worn uh, RC four-wheel drive worn uh, 9.5 uh, CTI uh, winch homemade aluminum fair lead Oz fair lead has a light bar in the front running off of a double-a battery pack I have my Mamba X mounted up here to my front body mount my receiver box mounted above my servo which is also a Savox 1231 or 1230 SG and uh, there's my worn RC four-wheel drive winch controller um, 
the I glued the remote to my uh, to my radio. It's uh, placed it there so it's easy to uh, reach, and that is interesting. Somehow I've gotten grease on my controller. So um, this is running a 4600 kV system. You guys who are subscribers and who've watched my other videos are aware of how this thing crawls. I want to talk about one of my favorite upgrades uh, other than the steering servo and uh, the censored uh, ESC and uh, motor is I'm running a BEC. I've got it taped to the wires right here so it doesn't flap around. It's a Castle uh, 10 amp BEC. We got it set at 8.4 volts. That only runs the winch and the uh, ESS1 plus sound kit. It's a uh, since Innovations makes it, I ordered mine off of eBay. It was like sixty dollars. Um, grab a lipo here. Everything on it was really straightforward. Um, it's you have a power wire that runs directly off of a JST plug. Which those of you still running the stock XL5HV can plug that directly into your uh, your sound box or, uh, or your ESC uh, power up radio here this side. so as you can see by the bottom of this crawler it has not seen uh, any any love as far as what I put it through the uh, his running hot racing portals both ends I don't remember the weight of the rears it's the lighter of the two I think it's 63 milligram 71 or two up front they did not clear these wheels I actually uh, chucked these wheels up in my metal lathe and I had to machine them to clear these portal housings as you, as you can see they're quite massive um, rears have fit perfectly with these wheels. Um, you'll notice my rear diff is locked. My front diff is open right now. Um, front is locked. Rear is locked. Rear is open. Front is locked. And that's all on a single channel on my Spectrum radio. So, um, the way I've done that is I have a Traxxas T-Lock module in my, uh, in my receiver, uh, box. Um, the, uh, Spectrum receiver is actually small enough that it allowed me to put the T-Lock module directly in the box with it, and that allows me to be somewhat waterproof if I remove my sound kit which the sound kit was a really easy install is literally a uh, plug for your main power uh, plug for your logic circuit which uh, goes directly into tees into your throttle channel and you have one for auxiliary so you can assign a horn um, that is uh, that in this 700 horsepower uh, Hemi uh, sound kit or sound uh, profile are ones that I uh, I uploaded. The uh, original uh, profile is still on here too. Controls on 
monitor super simple. It's just two buttons. Uh, I've got them mounted using a. Uh, I used a servo mount from when I put the four wheel steering in this truck. Just uh, it's literally just zip tied onto it. It moves around just a hair, but not very bad. Um, it doesn't flop or rattle or anything, so I'm okay with it where it's at. Um, I'm running the STRC uh, front shock towers because with the 500 ounces of the Savox steering servo, I was having problems with deflection right here on my panhard bar. Um, the steering on this is now much, much more uh, positive, much more solid. Um, it's a, they're really, really worth it. Um, so far, the only mechanical failures I've had other than uh, a glitchy Mamba X is actually the second Mamba X I've had problems with. Uh, the first one uh, failed to recognize the sensor harness. So I, it was, I was having issues with it cogging and not wanting to run. The, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, the second Mamba X, as I said, it's failing to recognize the aux wire. So when I shift from high to low range, it doesn't uh, shift from rock racer crawler mode. I've tried down, uh, uh, re-downloading the software. I've tried uh, downloading a earlier model or an earlier version of the software. I've tried all kinds of stuff. Can't get it to work. Tried different uh, harnesses because you just take these two screws off and all of the wiring on this end of the ESC uh, will come off. So for the moment, I have the 1900 KV Mamba X in the Viterra because it doesn't have a two-speed, doesn't need to disable the drag brake. Um, this is a J Concepts uh, Ford 93 Ford F250 body. It does fit on the TRX4 kit. Um, I had a set of mirrors, I can't remember right off who made them, uh, on it. They did not last long. They are hard plastic and were really not very durable. Oh, and you'll notice this one is also running Canyon Trail tires, as is the uh, those Chinese bead locks on the TRX4 kit. I'm actually really impressed with how well the Canyon Trails work. Um, the Viterra has been mechanically an amazing crawler. I upgraded, I say upgraded, I changed to a tactic radio uh, pretty much right out of the box because I wanted a third channel just in case I wanted to do light controls or anything like that. Um, haven't utilized it yet. Um, running a 9 volt battery and 3 ounces of weight on the front of the chassis. 9 volt battery is to power these. Um, the uh, this is an Intigy winch. I burned it out and uh, replaced the motor and gearbox with an RC four-wheel drive unit. It slipped right in. Literally take it off the vehicle, take these two screws out, and then take your screws out of one end of this, slide your heat sink off, unsolder your motor wires, slide, uh, unspool all your cable, take the set screw off right here, uh, under here that holds this to the output shaft on the gearbox and that was it was really straightforward it just slid right in um, this one is running a power HD 20 kilogram uh, servo um, the servo has given me a little bit of problems I have broken the brass gears in it once and did something I probably will be told by you guys is not the way you do it. I actually just took the servo apart and flipped the broken gear around backwards. The travel of the servo is not enough to where it gets to the broken teeth, so basically I'm getting two uses out of the same set of gears. You guys are familiar with the uh, Mamba X setup, censored. Um, however, uh, running this thing on 4S, still not very fast. It's probably comparable to uh, 3S on the 35 turn motor. Um, but I broke a shaft and I'm not going to pay $20 or 20 plus dollars for just the end of the shaft right here at the output. So I'm going to be getting a set of 
uh, drive shaft adapters from uh, Vanquish. And I'm going to be running a more normal drive shaft setup on this crawler. It will change my drive shaft angles a little bit, but I think running everything else on this truck's stock, it should be fine. Um, but the K5 uh, Ascender been a great crawler. Did not do very well with uh, with the original tires. It's doing great with the Canyon Trails. Um, really impressed with it now. Initially, I was really not impressed, and I actually did some trash talking about the Patera K5, uh, just because it is not in the same class as a TRX4 that's been modified. Um, I got my expectations expectations pretty high. Um, I'd expected it to keep up with what my barrage could do. I'd ex uh, after all the modifications the barrage received, I expected it to keep up with my TRX4, which had been modified, and it couldn't. So I was really let down. Realistically, I've been thinking about it. The Viterra K5 has been great. Needs a few upgrades, which most crawlers do right out of the box. Um, now this is a new addition to you guys. Um, it was my birthday present to myself. Been wanting one for quite a while. It's the Pro Boat River Jet. Um, I have uh, uh, put a Spectrum SR301 or no 310 uh, receiver in it and took out the original uh, receiver and put a Spectrum uh, SPM401 servo for the trim. So I have nozzle trim um, and it's running a uh, spectrum servo that was original to it out of the box for the steering. Did have to tinker with the linkage a little bit to allow it to steer full lock both ways. Um, it does have a water cooled outrunner uh, dynamite uh, 2300 kV I've never ran this thing on anything but 3S. It won't self write on 3S, but has otherwise been amazing. It's running a Dynamite ESC, which I can't see what model it is. It's the original ESC. It's also water cooled. Um, this thing's been quite an amazing boat. As you can see, uh, has some battle scars. Um, I'll upload the video how the tip got flattened. Um, so far the hole's been holding up great considering all the abuse. Um, there was a little bit of a learning curve as I said. Um, apparently jet boats will not steer unless you are under throttle. Um, I do need to repair it after the last uh, run, which is how the bow got dented. I'm just going to glue those back down. Um, no problems there really. Um, boat's got a little bit of moisture in it still from uh, running last night. Uh, you st when you store it, you store it with the battery out and the, the lid off of it to allow any water to evaporate rather than cause problems on your electronics. Now this trailer I built out of round metal stock, a uh, couple of sections of uh, pipe for the fenders. The axles are all thread, no hexes. Uh, and brake line tubing, kind of on a walking beam suspension system. Works fine, um, real simple. Um, working crank, LED tail lights. Um, I guess those are modified windshield wiper blades um, for boat rides, front stop there, and the guide rails. The trailer is all steel, but makes it very easy to drive the boat right up in, makes it very secure for trailing it to and from the river. Love how it sets on there. Um, it took me a couple of days to build that. Um, the, uh, I guess the next one I'll put up on the block is the least covered one. It's my wife's Axis Slash. Um, this one here has a lot of modifications but nothing super crazy um, 
sure the body is unplugged there. It has headlights, tail lights, and marker lights. Um, so we do night bash sometimes. Um, I need to take that zip tie out of there from when I had the ESC zip tied down. Um, throw that in the trash there. So you can see it's a little bit dirty. It's a basher. Um, it is running the Rustler front bumper, slash pan, still running the stock Traxxas Servo, Servo Saver, and all stock Traxxas uh, skid plates, bulkheads, and everything. Stock Traxxas transmission with metal gears. Um, it's running Proline extended body mounts. It's a Proline Desert Eagle body. Um, this is where things start getting strange. It is running Rustler rear A arms. Um, it is running uh, 4x4 slash front A arms flipped upside down and uh, I'm running ST STRC uh, suspension pins. It's actually a rear set of pins uh, because of the width of the A arms. Um, if you don't run the pins when you modify when you cut the end of the uh, a arm to fit a steering knuckle uh, caster block for the steering knuckle I should say um, it doesn't allow much travel and once you cut away that much material it becomes very weak and when you hit something with that wheel it will actually spread the plastic and pop pop off um, the STRC uh, pins actually have a nut there and that has resolved that issue very nicely. Running a Castle Sidewinder uh, motor, I mean uh, ESC, Valenian 3500 KV two pole. And that has been wonderful. Um, homemade wheelie plate, got metal pins on it, so when she wheelies in the dark, it actually shoots sparks out from under the back. Um, other than that, you know, it runs on the stock tracks, it's uh, radio. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, my wife enjoys it immensely. Okay. Now, my two-wheel drive slash that got ran over, that you guys are familiar with, is no longer with us. That two-wheel drive slash was built and given to uh, one of the combat vets in my Hobbies for Veterans program. If you guys get on my uh, Facebook group, Hobbies for Veterans, you'll be able to see who he is if you want to. Um, anytime you want to, uh, anytime you guys want to help out with the parts for the Hobbies for Veterans cars, because um, we give them to disabled combat vets with PTSD and various other uh, combat related injuries and illnesses. Um, I, I pretty much, with the exception of a little bit of help from uh, from a man who also does charitable builds, or t charitable giveaways, he doesn't build them anymore, he just buys uh, ready-to-run RCs and gives them away. Um, a little bit of help from him for tires, wheels, receiver box, and a transmission gear cover. Um, we got that mailed off. Um, this has an axial light kit in it. Headlights glow, glow green, tail lights glow red. Um, this is the Summit Link to uh, Traxxas slash Muddy Monster Beetle body. It was thirty dollars pre-painted, and it is not Lexan. It is, I believe, possibly PVC. I don't know. Um, it has a little bit of a. Uh, milky color when it's flexed too far but it is much it's a little softer but much more durable than the Lexan bodies so as hard as I beat this vehicle that's turned out to be a better uh, better choice for me plus I like the body and the paint scheme okay so this much of this is still my old slash as far as the uh, some of the powertrain from all the components and stuff um, Still my same Proline Badlands tires. Um, was having problems with the F11 bead locks, wouldn't keep the tires on the beads, so 
um, running stock tracks is Raptor wheels. Um, my differential is not locked. It actually used a little rubber washer from a shock rebuild kit um, and put it in between the output shafts inside the differential and loaded the differential with some very thick grease. Um, the uh, benefit to that is um, basically like limited slip. Um, it's really helped this car in the dirt. Um, this one is still running a uh, Traxxas radio and receiver. Um, it is a TQI radio I'm running with this, so it has the TSM. Um, since I've done the, uh, done this build on this car, I haven't broken anything. Um, I don't know what I will break when I do break it. Um, so far, so good. It's running Mamba X. Um, Proline extended body mounts. RPM uh, A-arms. Uh, RPM front, uh, front bulkhead. RPM bumpers, front and rear, RPM hybrid trans gear cover, RPM rear A-arms. Um, still running stock, talk, stock tracks as shock towers, pan, and upper links and steering is all stock tracks. Uh, this is a Raptor pan I bought off eBay for $8. Um, the... Uh, shocks are uh, Traxxas big bores um, running the white springs with a red band on them pretty happy with a spring rate on them 45 weight oil front and rear really happy with it as a basher it survived some really really foolish stunts at the skate parks and stuff um, last time I went to the skate park the only serious casualty was my new Traxxas wheelie bar uh, did not survive. It was immediately turned into little pieces of plastic, which is why I've mounted the wheelie bar wheels on my Proline, or not Proline, my RPM rear bumper. Um, now this one here is not mine. This is my daughter's two-wheel drive stampede. It is an older stampede. This also has a Summit Link Muddy Monster body. This is Muddy Monster for Stampede. Looks like a stock Stampede body, but it is much more rigid and more forgiving. That was only $20 on eBay. So it is, as you can tell, an older Stampede. Um, a little, little wobbly in a few spots. Um, that's not the bearing. That's actually the caster block is worn. Um, the uh, power system on it is a 3300 kV hobby wing motor, uh, four pole castle sidewinder ESC. Um, I don't even. It's a Futaba steering servo, but this thing is really, really a blast. My daughter loves driving it. We took it to the skate park in her hometown and. Uh, she snapped a caster block off and see there's still wear on the A-arms. Just waiting for that A-arm to break so I can put a new one on it for her. But, uh, she broke the caster block so we just took the a uh, the, uh, the leftovers of the caster block, the upper link and steering link off of it and just told her send it. You know, ain't gonna break it any worse. Gonna have to change that A-arm so, um, she actually did surprisingly well jumping in a skate park with only three wheels. Um, this thing here is, uh, it had been a bit of a nightmare at first. Um, I built it for her and immediately decided that the 12 turn uh, and XL5 combo in it were not going to cut it. This thing was so slow on 2S, it would barely wheelie. And 3S, not an option with that power system. So, I put this power system in it, 
and immediately broke off a rear axle. Put new axles in it, and after that, I immediately broke the transmission. Took it apart to find that it still had its original plastic gears, so it is now running all modern uh, steel gears in it now. And it has been flawless since then. Um, she hasn't been able to really break it except the one caster block. Um, give you guys a quick look um, at what radios I'm currently using. This is for my Slash. It is for, originally for my TRX4 Defender. Um, it's a, it has a little bit of a glitchy steering p potentiometer, but I'm willing to deal with it. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Um, this is the standard TQ for my wife's uh, uh, truck running a the Spectrum DX2E from the Viterra in my daughter's Stampede. This is a Tactic uh, 3 channel that I got with... Uh, What did I get that with? I got that in a parts deal. I have the China Terra winch controller uh, glued to the top of it, camera mount for filming. Um, Dollar Tree selfie sticks. You just unscrew the end of it and glue it to your controller and it's they work pretty flawless. This is one for my TRX4 Defender. So far it's only bound to one vehicle. Um, DX5C. Uh, Love how these radios work. Um, have a the DX5C that the boat and the TRX4 kit are bound to. Um, the original controller for the boat isn't in use at the moment. Um, it's a DSMX, I believe. Um, it's an STX2, but it's not. Com its receiver is not compatible with the rest of my Spectrum stuff, being a marine receiver. So, I just, I'll probably put that in uh, one of the giveaway cars. I don't know. You guys will notice this little Hobby Zone controller. It's for my uh, Horizon Hobby Duet uh, plane. I got that as a starter plane to try to get into flight. And it has not been easy for me to fly. Um, I keep lawn darting it. I don't know if that's... Uh, due to the handling nature of that plane, or if it's just me. But anyway, that pretty much sums up the uh, sums up the new workshop and what we've got going on in here on all the vehicles. Um, get out there, have some fun with the RCs.